Yeah, great scrappers. Thought I'd do a complete PC scrap out today. Uh, I might actually do two of them uh, just to get a better, better uh, example of of uh, what I do to um, scrap them completely. That's um, you know from taking all the components out right down to uh, depopulating the boards, the whole lot. So um, uh, yeah, just so we can see at the end what we can get for precious metal recovery. So what I'll probably do is. Uh, I might pick a couple out here, uh, maybe a, a newer one and one of these older type of ones and see what we can get out of it. Um, there might be a few uh, of these Dell servers in here that I might, uh, I might do one of them too. I've got a few other server kind of things here that I might, might pick a server out but uh, yeah mostly uh, just want to get a modern, modern PC tower and a one of you know one slightly older maybe 15 or 20 years old and we see what we can get out of them all right so uh stay tuned and uh, you know try and watch right up to the end if you can because uh that's when i'll probably get into the better stuff start depopulating the boards i'll show you how i depopulate motherboards and um and yeah and uh, we'll see what we get at the end of it okay so i've picked out a a, a newer pc um, I was going to do a two or three, but I thought it's probably going to just take a little bit too long for the video. So, yeah, um, and I figured, well, a newer PC is basically what most people are going to be doing anyway. So, um, so yeah, we're just going to have to do one. Uh, so, yeah, I'd, what I was going to do is just basically scrap it out completely and um, have a look at what we get out of uh, a, an average PC and, and then... Um, you know do everything that uh, pretty much I do as far as depopulating the boards and and stuff like that all right so I'll just make a quick start uh, so we obviously got a hard drive it looks like there's uh, three slot cards in here um, you know your power supply and your motherboard so uh, we'll get into it and uh, see how we go I suppose the first thing is get out this hard drive now this hard drives um, it's 160 gigabytes so it's it's about the lowest um, at the moment that I think is you know is okay still to pass on but usually um, I, I format and sell the 250 gig and above usually 160 is about the entry level at these days you know most people want 500 gig and one terabyte and and above so um so not really uh worth really worth selling this one um and as i'll show you with the uh i'll just get this plate out and even the late model um hard drives the boards are really small on them and and so there's really not much value in in the boards um, for gold recovery, you know, you still got, you know, some pins and the other side you, you'll have some stuff on there But uh, as you can see the boards are so small that uh, they don't really um, You know give you much value to scrap these hard drives out But unfortunately because it's a uh, only 160 gig. It's not really uh, Not really uh, worth selling anymore um, You know, you can obviously sell these cords, but you know once you get a few, they just build up so much. I just prefer to remove the pins and, and so on. So yeah, we've got some slot cards here. So nice uh, video graphics card. Another card there. And the ethernet card. So all I'm gonna do is basically scrap everything out and just uh, show you what we get and um, and I'll show you what I do with them at the end of it. So hang around until I uh, until I get to the last bits. You know, obviously these plugs are all got the gold little gold um, pins inside. So I remove all these all these pins, all these plugs, and uh, sell the wire as insulated wire, even the USB type of uh, plugs all got some a bit of gold all right 
Let me just get out this. Uh, I've undone a couple of screws. So, oh yeah, there's an extra spare fan. So, you know, because this fan's got the cord and everything, you can keep it for a spare, but uh, otherwise, you just take off the wire and I can take out the little motor out of there. Um, same with these. Um, take these uh, pins out. I cut out the plugs and uh, remove the pins later on. A lot of times, you know, these little ones are gold pins, but in this case, there's no gold pins in this one. power supply unit out so basically with power supply units you can open them up and uh, remove all the, the copper or stuff um, a lot of people just sell the power units I prefer to sell the power units as they are and just cut the cords like that but if if you uh, don't um, don't sell your power units and you're just going for the copper and stuff then this one here, that's just one nice wad. Uh, here there's a, uh, a little SATA plug. So I'll cut the SATA plug off, put this in for gold pins inside here. Uh, the rest don't have gold pins. So there's another one here we can take. Um, in there there's some gold pins as well. So to start so we've got some uh, insulated wire nice little chunk power supply um, I'll just sell it like this but uh, if you want you can um, open these up and get the transformer out the motor the uh, for the fan um, aluminium heat sinks a little bit more wire and so on but it just takes a bit of time so just depending on how, how many you do um, if you do a lot of PCs you probably get sick of uh, opening up power supply units. Uh, so now I'll just get the motherboard out. Okay, so I've got the motherboard out. First thing I do, I just remove the uh, the little battery just to get rid of that. And we've got our main heat sink and fan. So with this fan, can uh, remove this fan and you know sell this part as the motor, and I'll just if I wipe off this. As you can see, this heat sink's got a nice copper rod, so I'll remove this copper um, rod out of this uh, extruded heat sink. I'll do this. I'll show you what I'll do with that. I've got a. Uh, one ram stick it's uh, uh looks like it's a uh, one gig one gig of ram so one gig ram sticks don't really sell for much anymore they used to be okay but uh, these days minimum of two gigs um, CPU remove that and just wipe this this stuff I always read the back of the CPU in this case it's uh, it looks like a um, it's a Pentium D so these Pentium D's or Pentium 4's they're not worth um, selling they're just um, throw it in with your gold recovery but if it's a dual core or quad core i7 or something like that obviously you want to check the serial number on the back and you can sell these if you look after them. 
um, but otherwise this one is just for gold recovery and we've got the motherboard and so I'll show you what to uh, what I do with these these modern ones they don't really have uh, a great deal of stuff on them got some MLCC's inside here um, you know we've got some um, IC chips flat pack under this uh, heat sink we're also going to have a nice chip get it off and with these empty towers you just throw in all your steel bits you know so like junk from televisions throw them in fill this up put the top back on and send this complete you know with with all your scrap even plugs that I remove the brass bit steel whatever old tin cans throw them in and uh, it's it's a really good steel bin so when you put the cover back on put the screw on you've got a really nice heavy package to send to your scrapyard uh, so this here is just a, a little bit of extruded aluminium so we put this in the extruded bucket it's the higher value aluminium good quality stuff and so yeah so we just got a motherboard here it's a very basic one but uh, I'm going to depopulate it, remove the, uh, the pins, the chips, and the, uh, um, the whole lot. Pretty much everything that I want out of it, anything that's got gold plating, anything else like these, uh, these uh, aluminium capacitors, I'll just try and leave as many as I can on the board because there's no value there for me, but you know I can still sell the board once it's depopulated um, for a bit of cash. And... Finally, it's just the the uh, DVD drive, and I've got a little uh, so I get out the DVD drive, and all I do with this one, while whilst I'm scrapping the PC, I'll, I'll I open these up straight away. Don't let these build up because you know they just. Uh, give you more work and all I want is the board so we'll keep the the DVD board we've got some gold pins in here we've got some um, I, flat packs to take off IC chips it's another board a little bit of ribbon wire with some gold on the ends bit of, very little but all adds up um, a lot of people like to keep these uh, DVD eyes the readers um, I do too, I, I just keep them, I don't know why, but uh, I started off uh, collecting these a couple of years ago. So, since I started collecting them, you know, I've been building up uh, bucketfuls of these. Um, you know, there's a whole mixture of metals in these, there's, you got, you know, the surrounding is like aluminium. Um, you're probably going to have a little bit of silver, sometimes a bit of gold um, in these pins. There's a bit of gold plating, um, but you know, no one's really sort of uh, looked into these to see what's actually you know all the different metals that's inside. So, just in case um, there's something quite valuable in these, I thought I'm going to keep them because one day you know someone's going to turn around and say, oh, by the way, you know, these DVD uh, readers have got. Um, palladium in there and platinum or something you know and they're very valuable so so uh, um, I'm just keeping these for now but you could also get away with throwing these into your motor bucket I suppose um, you know if you throw them in mix them in with the motors you'd probably get away with that too but uh, I prefer to just keep them and build up a collection and then the last thing I take out I don't worry about the little motor there's a tiny little motor there just too fiddly to get it out for not even one cent value uh, so but this rod is always usually brass so so I just pull that out sometimes it just breaks off and that's a little bit of brass that's all rather than throwing it in the rest this is just scrap metal throw it in with the rest the only other thing is uh, I can get to it is going to be the just a little uh, USB 
card for the slot for the front. This one's a little bit awkward to get to, but I'll just get it out. So give me a minute. But um, there you go. So it's just a little um, little board with the USB plugs for the the front of the PC. Some little connectings. So uh, not a lot on this. I'll just cut off the wire. But I'll keep this and I'll I'll, I'll remove these little plugs. I just throw this whole thing in with my plugs uh, until I get around to removing the gold pins. And uh, yeah, as I said, a bit of wire. So these modern day PCs, they're very, very quick, not much to them. Um, these fans, I just snap the corners, take out a bit of wire. And these fans, you can throw these in with motors. Sometimes if you want to just make it look more like a motor, just in case, depending on your scrapyard. So I like to sometimes take the fins off the fan and uh, that way there's, there's no question what it is, it's a, it's a motor now, you know, and I'll do the same with this fan, and I'll take off this, and uh, yeah, so I'll, um, I'll just clean up around here now, and uh, I'll show you what, what I, I'll take some of this stuff inside, and uh, we'll start to depopulate them, uh, remove anything that, um, like these boards, these slot cards, they don't have any um, any MLCCs really on them that I can see much. This video card, if I can get off this. Okay. So if you take out the fan, it's got little screws in there. If we take that fan out, the rest will be its uh, extruded aluminium again. And so th this board here... There's not, not, not a lot of MLCCs or anything on there, so all we want to do is remove these flat packs and take the pins and take these ends off. Alright, so I'll come back with uh, the next step. But that's it, that's, that's the PC done. And as I said, you can throw, throw your scrap steel in there, and when you're finished, put the cover back on and send this off as scrap steel. All right. Okay, so what we end up getting is uh, obviously the uh, power supply unit. Uh, we've got a few, three little motors here um, that we can put into the motor and transformer bucket. And uh, got some uh, low grade insulated wire and some mid grade insulated wire, mostly from the power supply unit. Uh, so we've got the motherboard, now I'm going to run off and um, depopulate this, so I'll show you this next. Um, we've got the hard drive which I'll, I'm going to just leave complete because it's, it's not worth selling and it's not really worth scrapping out for me because once you remove that board then you can't really sell the hard drive complete, you have to then scrap the whole thing and I can't. You know, I don't have enough time to scrap hard drives uh, unless they're the old style and they've got really good boards. I've got the, um, the DVD um, reader, a little bit of brass. I've got the DVD board, uh, which um, is um, not much too depopulating. It's just a matter of taking these gold pins off and just a few IC chips, that's all. And then the rest I sell as a uh, depopulated board. Um, I've got the uh, main heatsink, which has the copper core inside it. And what I do is I use one of those printer rods, and I put this in a vise, and I put the rod in, and I just belt it with a hammer and knock these printer rod, uh, this uh, copper rod out. Another way you can do it is if you've got an angle grinder, you can just cut one side of the um, aluminium, open it up, and this copper rod will pop out, right? So um, they're well worth getting that little bit of copper out because it um, adds up pretty quick. Um, one ram stick, 
one CPU, a couple of extra pieces of uh, extruded aluminium, and got these three slot cards. Now with these slot cards, um, in, a, in some cases they're worth actually selling as slot cards rather than depopulating them. Like in this one, there's, there's really not a lot on there to depopulate. Like all these um, aluminium uh, capacitors, you know, there's no point in removing them because there's no precious metals in here. So might as well leave them on to get more weight. Um, and so I'm still um, debating whether to um, depopulate these ones or just sell them as slot cards because you get pretty good value as a slot card. But, um, you know, if not, you know, you can always, always um, remove these gold uh, pins and, um, and, you know, you've got the fingers and little pins and that. It's, so I'm not going to depopulate these at the moment. I'll just put these in with my slot cards because I haven't done any slot cards yet. Um, so I'll just add these to the collection for now. And last thing is just all the, the pins all the plugs that I've taken out, the IDE plugs, the SATA plugs, and any other little plugs that I've removed. So all this is just goes into the plug bucket and uh, for one day to um, remove all the pins and put these away as gold pins. So I'll just, um, all I've got left to do here is uh, just to depopulate this board and we're done. Okay, so here I am with my trusty little air hammer and uh, I'm just going to finish off by depopulating this board and uh, and then we're done so basically all I want is the gold pins coming from here um, I want the flat packs and uh, the CPU mount there's gold pins all under here inside there um, the MLCC's will come out the ram stick slots will have gold pins. There's gold pins along here. And around the edge, there's some gold pins along here that we want to get off. Around this side, mostly want to, you know, I'll probably end up getting most of this off because they're all got gold pins all in there and there. There's no gold pins really in here, but I usually get this off just to get to these. Uh, maybe even that one. But uh, yeah, so basically we just want, mostly we want the, the chips the gold pins and um, and that's it so I'll start off with uh, this large section here Okay, so they're the main pins that we want. So we've got them off now, nice and easy. And obviously there's still a way to go to get the uh, gold pins out of them, but that's for another day. It's another job. Um, and as I said, there's nothing in this one. So now I'll just go for um, these main gold pins here. IC chip here. They just pop off nice and easy. Go pins. There's no gold pins in there.
Okay. So now that um, uh, where are we? Like these ram slots, we've taken out. Now they're bent over one side. Now we just go over to the other side. We go this way and we take them off. So we've got most of them off, the other side. Okay, I'll just turn off the compressor. All right. Okay, so now we've uh, we've depopulated this board as much as I want to. I don't want to take off anything that I don't need to because I want to sell the board as it is. So um, all these um, aluminium capacitors and stuff, they can stay on as they are. That way I get more value for the big populator board. And then we've got our collection of stuff here. Got to sort through it. Basically, this is all the um, the gold pins. All in there. Gold pins in there. Um, we've got our main, our main two chips. BGA chip and the main chip there. So they're they're um, they're our best value, um, and then you know some some smaller some smaller IC chips as well, and uh, and then uh, as you can see all these uh, gold pins here, we'll start uh, we'll collect these as well as little IC chips and stuff. I have a little bucket here. where I put all little crumbles and stuff like that. And I sort through that another day. But for now, all we wanted, this is my little depopulating station. So um, I just keep bringing in boards. I've got a lot of boards down here ready to do. And, um, but this is basically what I do with a motherboard. And so everything that's of value is off this uh, for precious metal. Um, I mean, obviously, there's more precious metals on it, but um, but um, you know the rest. I you know we can't really get to. You know, it's mostly the gold and stuff and the palladium from MLCCs. So I'll still get good value for this by selling it for about uh, at the moment. It's about thirty cents a pound. Oh, I'm getting about seventy cents a kilo. Um, so that's good enough for a depopulated board main thing I want is all the uh, gold recovery bits you know the main chips you know gold pins all that sort of stuff all the crumble down here it's all little IC chips MLCC's maybe some resistors um, and a lot of these gold pins so I, I, I want all of that so job done all right well that's scrapping a um, PC my style um, Everyone's got their own style, what they do, and uh, a lot of people just sell the boards. Um, but I prefer to depopulate them and, and try and get best value for money out of uh, the precious metal recovery stuff. Alright, so, uh, well, that's it guys. Keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you next time.